Hello, this is Ann Brock. In this scenario, we're going to discuss the change review process. First, let's meet the act actor in today's scenario, Charlotte. Charlotte is a director in the IT organization and does a lot of coordination with the business service owners. She needs to update them on how their services are doing, make sure the activities are happening appropriately, and really takes care of that liaison role. So she's going to figure heavily in our scenario today. The scenario is ITIL change review. What if your ITSM solution inherently followed ITIL processes built in from the ground up? But a problem managers could easily create changes when needed, and change management could quickly identify things like collisions and impacts that can affect the chances of that change being successful. And what if the processes are available at your analyst's fingertips, you know, not locked away in a drawer or in a file cabinet somewhere? Let's see how that looks. Charlotte is watching her chatter feed. She's also following priority one incidents in her chatter feed, along with various people and groups. Chatter is a social media tool that comes with Salesforce that allows you to follow people, follow groups, and in this case, actually follow particular priority of tickets. You can also follow services and other things as well. Well, she notices that Jackson put in a priority one ticket. She wants to see if that's going to affect anything with her business service owners. They like to be warned if something's happening, and she likes to know what's going on before they give her a call. When she opens up this ticket, she finds out that Jackson is having problems accessing the Imagine system. Well, Charlotte knows that they've been working on that Imagine system. Again, she's been in consult consultation with the problem managers, the business owners, etc. So she wants to make sure this ticket is being handled correctly. And one of the ways that is done is by attaching it to the existing problem record. So she's just going to check and make sure that this happened. Yep, sure enough, this did get attached to the correct problem record. Well, Charlotte wants to check on that problem because she's got a meeting coming up later today and she wants to know the latest and greatest. So she's wondering what's going on with the problem record, how many people is it impacting, all those kinds of things. So she's going to go back to record details from that problem and now she sees that there have been multiple incidents linked to this problem. So it is affecting some people, some people are noticing it, and she knows she makes a mental note that she's going to want to tell her business service owners that. But not horrible so far. She does see that the problem managers have also already created a change request. So from the problem record, it's very easy to create and link a change request to that problem record. So Charlotte's curiosity drives her on, plus she knows she's going to get asked a lot of questions this afternoon, so she brings up the change. One of the first things she notices, you know, there's a change collision here. So she's a, a little worried about that. She's going to make a note to herself to look into that in a little bit. What change is this uh, actually collide with? One of the things that Charlotte's not totally familiar with the change process, but she does want to check out what, what should be happening with this change. And she's going to go to the change management process. These process diagrams are embedded into the product. So when somebody's not quite sure what should be happening, they can always come to the process diagrams and see where they are and what should be happening next. Charlotte sees, you know, knows that the change has been registered. She's, so she's going to go ahead and click on that and say, did all the proper steps happen? during the change registration. And she's reading through some of the boxes, you know, what kind of things are happening, change already got created, risk and impact analysis required. She thinks probably on this one it is. Imagine's a pretty major, major system. She's gonna go ahead and click and see what happens in the change risk and impact analysis tasks. And she could see that they should have finalized risk and impact analysis, do various tasks and complete those. So she has a couple things she wants to check out now on this change. She wants to make sure that kind of impact analysis happens, and she also wants to check out that change collision. So she can do impact analysis from here herself because it's part of the tool. This is also important to her when she goes to that meeting later because when she talks about the Imagine system being down, having problems, is it going to impact anybody else? There'll be more than one business service owner in that meeting, and they're all anxious about that. So she's going to come in and analyze that impact and see what's impacted. Looks like it's just the Imagine service. The other, other business service owners can breathe a sigh of relief. Their services are doing okay. She could go ahead and uh, bring that impact into the um, ticket as well. She could attach the impacted analysis to the change request if she wanted to, but she'll leave that for the change 
manager who's actually working the change, but she has the information she needs to go to that meeting. But she has one other piece of information. Remember we saw that collision detection the moment we came in. So she needs to look and see what other changes are overlapping this one. Change collision means somebody else is working on that imagined service in overlapping date and times. So two people are going to be working on this at the same time. And so now the next thing Charlotte would do is go look at change request 7 and start seeing if those changes can be done at the same time or if she's going to need to juggle them a bit. That also might be something she needs to ask the business service owners about because they may have an interest in getting change 7 done in a particular time frame. So Charlotte, even though she's not in you know, heads deep, change manager, implementer, etc., has been able to get a lot of information out of the system starting from that chatter feed. So what did we show you? We showed you a system that inherently follows ITIL processes. Charlotte was able to follow them, follow the links through because the system is set up that way. We also showed how problem managers can easily create changes. And we also showed how the change management gave you a lot of information about things that could impact this change being done successfully. That change collision and the impact analysis are key tools to make sure your change is going smoothly. And we also showed that the processes in the system are available at the click of a button. So if somebody who's not too familiar with the processes comes in there, they can still walk through and see what they need to do next.